this is Jeff Stein. I'm from America in France. And I'm going to show you the political platform of Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who is running for president in the 2012 French presidential election. He's part of the Front de Gauche, which is not really a political party. It's a coalition, 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 okay, right, of political parties. Basically, the mainstream far left in France. Communist, uh, some left wings, some some left wing people that had left uh, the Socialist Party, the French Socialist Party, which is the kind of the standard bearer on the left. And there was another party that I can't remember. They got together and they, they formed this coalition, the Front de Gauche. And Mélenchon, who was actually was a so sen senator, he was a socialist senator. Uh, he's this, he's the one who's who's is their candidate for the presidential election this year. Okay, so what's his platform? So there's this is a ten points for his platform. Retirement at 60. Right now in France, the retirement age is 62. He wants to lower it to 60. He wants pensions, not less than minimum wage. And minimum wage in France is about 1,200 euros. And he, so he says pensions are not going to be less than minimum wage. He wants public investment to relance the, to relance, that's fast, strongly, to restart the economy. He wants to do public investment. He refuses austerity. He doesn't want to cut because he said that's a disaster. It's not going to do anything. It's just if you cut government, that's not going to do anything. Well, where's he going to get the money to do this? He refuses austerity, which is fine. Where do you get the money? He's going to raise taxes. He's going to do income tax, and he's going to do business, and he's going to, he's going to do a finance. What's diff kind of different here is he wants to uh, up the income tax. In France, most people don't pay uh, income tax. And he wants to kind of up the income tax so it's more progressive. Most uh, most of the um, I think tax income comes from the um, the value added tax in France, which is about 19 percent. And so that's where it's, so it's kind of just not a sales tax, but basically on consumption. So he wants to up the uh, income tax. He also wants to tax businesses. He wants to close a lot of loopholes. Basically, what he wants to do for businesses, he wants to close loopholes and finance. That's a big thing. Uh, Mélenchon is the one who was leading um, after France lost its AAA. He was one of the politicians who went out a couple of days and was um, was um, demonstrating in front of, I think it was Moody's, who had cut France's, um, or Standard & Poor's, I can't remember which one, who had cut France's uh, AAA rating. He went out and he was in, you know demonstrating in front of there. He wants to renegotiate the debt of France's debt and interest rate. He wants to renegotiate that with the with the banks and he wants to he wants to actually get rid of some of the debt. He wants to wipe it out. He just he said he doesn't want to pay it. Why should I pay it? It's going to banks. There's no reason to pay it. Basically it's a very traditional left wing political stance is essentially what it is. We're gonna raise taxes, we're gonna do more government spending. He wants to replace the GDP, the um, the you know the growth. We all talk about the growth rate and stu stuff. He wants to he wants to replace that by something that he says it'll be more human and more actually will reflect society more than just growth. Uh, he wants to have a fifty percent investment in fifty percent more investment in education, and I'm not too sure exactly what that entails. I'm sure there's more teachers, but he also talked about building institutions, more schools, etc. So he wants to he wants to by fifty percent he wants to up the the educational budget. That's pretty good. Uh, he wants to create a ministry of women's rights, and I was looking, and there aren't many there aren't many of these in the world. I guess if if he was elected, France would have one. He wants to create this ministry of women's rights. And he says citizenship after five years. If anyone's been living in France for after f in for five years, any uh, immigrant, somebody who's immigrated here and is living here in France for legally for five years, after those five years, if they want, they can become a French citizen. They can become a French citizen. Thank you very much, and see you next time.